when you buy your pivot wire it comes like this um, there must be 50 60 sizes in there and uh, what you have to do is measure till you find that measure each one of these wires till you find the one you want which is 027 uh, so I'll do that well now we got a problem um, it turns out that the hole for our pivot in here is not dead center and uh, I sort of let it go that way on purpose so that I could show you what to do if that's the case these carbide drills will make a hole perfectly but I pulled it a little off with my hand to make it uh, to make it do that so what do we do now uh, because anything you do to try to redrill that hole, no matter what size it is, it's going to be off-center. There's no other way you can fix it. So, what we did was we put in a 034 drill in here and drilled it way oversized. So we're going to put an extra large pivot in here and then with some Loctite. And then when it dries tomorrow, we will turn that pivot down to the proper size, which is what for... We're seven, we're seven thou over. So when we turn, turn that down to the proper size, we will then have it dead center, right where we want it. And that's how you get around that mistake, which happens periodically. Okay, we're back at the bench. So now we have this gigantic big hole in the end of our arbor. It's way oversized. Maybe you can see that. It's 034, so it's 7,000 over what we need. So what we will do, since it's off-center, is we will find a piece of pivot wire that's 034. Yep, there we go. That piece is 034. Let's see how it fits. Perfectly. So, uh, you cannot cut this with uh, side cutters. You have to take it off with a uh, a um, abrasive disc so we're going to do that right now and then we'll glue it in there with some Loctite well we kept getting bigger and bigger and this is exactly what I wanted so because I wanted to show you uh, the wrong way to do it because you may well do it that way this pivot wire is now um, 054 and that fits in the hole nice and tight but you can see that it's it's uh, there. See how out around, out around it is, how bent it is. We're so far over the size of the pivot we want that that's going to work just fine, because we're going to put that back in the in the lathe tomorrow when this is all dry, and we're going to cut that down to 027, which will and there's enough meat there that it'll be just perfect when we're done. It'll be in dead center and it'll be straight. So that's uh, today's lesson. <laughs> if you uh, make a mistake and it's that way, you can go oversize and, uh, and actually get and fix it. And when it's done, it'll be perfect. So um, back tomorrow. Thanks. Okay, it's the next day. I want to show you this is the pivot that's 0 0.027 uh, that's the good pivot this end is the one we did yesterday 
and uh, because it was off center, which we did, I did on purpose. Uh, I ended up putting an 05, 0.054 pivot in there because it was off center. And now we're going to turn it down, and when we turn it down to 027, it'll be dead centered and uh, just right. Okay, that's dried up real nice now. And you can see, you can see how out around that is. Out around, out of center it is, see there? Okay. So, you can't turn these because this is pivot wire and it's too hard to turn. You also cannot cut it with a, um, a side cutters or an end cutters. It has to be ground. If you're going to cut it, it has to be cut with a, an abrasive wheel. Um, I've got a diamond wheel in a Fordham tool that cuts it quite well. Um, or you have to grind it and file it. So right now this, this wheel here, let me get a little closer, that has been um, touched up with a, um, a diamond. So this is dead on, perfectly circular and, and centered. Um, and this of course is turned in this direction, right? And this, wait a minute, no it's the other way around. This one's turning this way, this one's turning clockwise, this one's turning counterclockwise. So that they're both, they're not both going the same direction. Um, so we'll fire this up and see if we can center that. And what we want to end up here with this pivot is 0.07 inches. Uh, let's give it a try. I can't talk because it's too loud. So there you can see up against the, the, the wheel how out around that is. And um, to start, I think we'll actually turn this on and do some of it by hand, just by turning the lathe by hand. Okay, now we've got it rounded and centered, so now we want to turn the lathe on. Otherwise, you'll just have flat spots on it when you turn it by hand. There you can see the flat spots. <laughs> get a calipers.
033. So we're mighty close. O three O. That's close enough. Uh, we need to leave a little bit of extra there so we can uh, finish it off and lap it. Uh, we also need to file it because the file. Oh, hold on a minute. Now when you uh, grind it like that, you end up with a little bit of a taper and this shoulder in here has a l little bit of a radius in it and you can't have that on a pivot because if the, when it's in the clock, if uh, the wheel or the arbor runs up on the, on the bushing on that little um, radius, the clock will stop. So the best way to get rid of that is with a file. This is a, a zero. Uh, and of course this is a, a filing rest that makes the file fit absolutely flat. So that you take the taper out. Whoops. There we go. Okay, I've taken the grinding wheel out of the Dremel and I put in a lapping wheel which is a very, very fine. Uh, it's down into microns and that will uh, polish it up or lap it up and uh, finish it off, make it a mirror finish. I think you can see it from there but uh, and you see that even though we started out with a, uh, a pivot that was out around and not centered uh, we used an oversized piece of uh, wire pivot wire and now we're dead center so that's how to correct that mistake um, if you have it and it happens occasionally um, so, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe and like and tell your friends. And um, we'll see you back in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.